Okay, Mike McGrody here. I'm out in the, in the nursery. I want to show you. I've got some forsythia here that are they've grown all summer. And they've got great big long canes on them, and I'm going to show you how hard I would I trim these plants because I want them nice and full at the bottom. If I don't trim them next year, they're going to put on new growth, and every one of these buds is going to become new growth. And look, you know, I don't want all that new growth up here. I want these plants nice and tight and full at the bottom. So let me show you real quick how hard I, I will and I'm going to cut these things. You can see with something that's as aggressive as forsythia, I quite literally have cut these things down to a stump. And you know what? Next year, these things are going to start growing and they're going to take off like crazy and put on all kinds of new growth, but they're going to get really nice and tight and full down at the bottom. Now, this cane that I cut off of there is a hardwood cutting. And I'm going to come in here kind of close. We got some damage there, so I'm going to remove that part. There's a bud union right here, also known as a node, so I'm going to cut it right there. That's the bottom of my cutting. And then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go about a, an inch or so above that, that bud union up here. That's a cutting. And I can take this cutting and just stick it in the ground, which I'm going to do, and it will root. By next summer, this thing will be rooted. It'll be an additional forsythia plant. So I'm gonna stick it in my pocket. Now, my next cut, I'm gonna remove a little bit of this because I wanna be close to this bud union, but I don't wanna cut into it. And I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Now, on the top, we don't cut close to the bud union because we wanna protect these top buds. So this piece here will die back to here, but this will act as a little bit of a handle and it'll let me press that in when I'm sticking the cutting and it's going to protect the cutting. So, as you can see, I can get a bunch of cuttings out of this cane. And uh, this is all, these are hardwood cuttings, and you can do this during the winter. And it, it works. Actually, this little side branch right here, I'm going to cut it there. That's going to be a little cutting. That will root. These big, big thick cuttings are going to root. Again, I got another little side branch. I'm going to remove it, and then I'm going to cut it right up to the bottom of the bud. Cut it there. Another little side branch, cut it there, put it in my hand, there's two more, alright, whoops, yeah, I'm going to cut that one, I'm going to throw that piece away, I cut that too, alright, good, now there's one right there, cut it right there, right below that bud union, that's a nice little cutting, it's a little thin, but it'll work just fine. And then I can cut this one up here, like that. I'm going to cut this one off, cut the bottom off, that's a cutting. Pick that off, trim these off, trim those off. Trim. I'm going to throw that one away because it's a little small. There's another cutting. Take that up to the bottom. Another cutting, again, okay, one more time. On the bottom of the cutting, I'm going to cut close to the bud uni because this is going to root right on here. And then the top of the cutting, I'm going to cut it about there. So there's my cuttings, just like that. And the easiest way in the world to do these is just maybe take a, a, a putty knife and cut a, sli a slit in the ground, stick them in there. Whoops, that one I didn't cut the bottom off. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to stick them in there, and you know, you can dip them in a rooting compound during the winter right now. It's uh, uh, you know, the, the wood's pretty hard, so you want to use a, 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 a rooting compound for hardwood cuttings. But you know what? These things are going to root without a rooting compound. Rooting compounds are nice. They help. They increase your success. But then something easy like forsythia, you don't even need them. I can just stick these things right in the ground, and they're going to root. So I'm Mike McGrody from FreePlants.com, and Mike's back there at Nursery.com. Have a great day.